he's disrespecting your boundaries that you yourself were disrespecting in the first place is it your hurt have your shower and get ready to shoot these videos because hell no oh this babe this guy ah just like they like to walk cool but if you don't love you then who won't love you period like and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your constant support and if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it i promise you will not regret it and i hope by the end of this video you're able to click the subscribe button and stay like you guys by the title of this video like it's so excited i'm so excited i don't even know why i'm this excited but this is my first sit down video in a while like i'm not even going to lie like i'm actually not going to lie i've been running from sit down videos because <laughs> i feel like sit down videos are just more intense in my opinion from the title you can already tell what this video is all about i'm going to be talking about five things you need to know or normalize in your 20s in the past year i've learned so much and i've grown so much and i'm still learning a lot of things and i'm still coping with a lot of things i'm still trying to manage a lot of things a lot of changes that are happening in my life and i'm just doing this video hoping that someone somewhere outside sees this video and takes something away from it or feels better after watching it but yeah the first thing that you should know or normalize in your 20s dumping toxic friendships like when i say dumping is literally like distancing yourself from situations or from people that you know that are not for you and i don't mean like oh get the fuck out of my life you're a toxic friend go and eat shit go and eat grass that's not what i mean i just mean like distancing yourself from certain people who you know do not add any value to your life or you know that their energy doesn't rub off well on you kind of so kind learning to like distance yourself from those people and keeping a healthy like healthy when I say healthy, a healthy distance, a healthy boundary between you and those people. With some friendships that I've had that I've literally had to just distance myself from those people. It's been a lot to do with them not respecting my boundaries, not respecting my time or even validating my feelings. Like when I tell you, for example, like um, I tell you that oh like what you did really hurt me i didn't like what you did i didn't like your response to this i didn't like how you treated me here and you're just like you're so over dramatic like why do you have to be this dramatic is it your hurt like when i tell you that i'm hurt by something that you did or what you did made me feel a certain type of way and you're telling me eh like you know instead of like being like okay sorry it wasn't my intention to do that um i didn't even think of it that way but you're hurt you're clearly hurt and i'm sorry for doing this and then we'll move forward but instead you keep invalidating my feelings which isn't right do you get what i'm trying to say and i've been in situations like that and honestly like i'm not trying to say the first time it happens or just cut that person off no i feel like if it's something that's a repeated pattern if it's something that keeps repeating itself and obviously you've probably made it clear to that person countless times that look you don't like this and they keep repeating the same thing i feel like it's safe to just distance yourself from that person like being selfish with your time be selfish with your time what it means to be selfish with your time is just prioritizing yourself and prioritizing your needs while still being mindful of other people you need to prioritize every single thing that you need everything that you want everything that you want to achieve in order to show up as your best self every single day why i say this is because for example now if you've said okay tomorrow like this is my non-negotiable tomorrow tomorrow like i'm fast what I, i'm going for let me use myself as an example i said today i'm going to film a youtube video and i'm going to film one real video i ended up waking up late today and i just felt like mm, i felt when i say late i probably woke up around like 11 and i just felt like the day had gone by and i was just like yeah i'm not going to be able to achieve that much today like you know i'm just going to lie in bed 
but i just told myself will you get the hell of have your shower and get ready to shoot these videos because hell no this is what i was constantly doing last year and i wasn't showing up as my best self i wasn't prioritizing myself i wasn't being selfish with my time of like i would say that i was going to do something and i would end up not doing it i was doing it i was betraying myself and when i've said that i was going to do something and didn't end up doing it i'll end up feeling so shit the whole day breaking your own boundaries time and time again is only going to leave you stressed like you just be stressed you feel very you'll be in a funk like you just be meh if you keep breaking your own boundaries you will leave room for other people to feel like they can break your own boundaries as well let's say for example you are in an office working your tendencies are that obviously there'll be a closing time but you will stay past the closing time so you tell yourself that okay like you know um this is my non-negotiable like once it's five closing time i'm just i'm cut off like i'm going home i'm not overstaying nothing like that you know i'm trying to say this is what i'm committed to today like i'm just not going to stay past the time that i'm meant to and you end up breaking that boundary time and time again and maybe your boss is looking at you and he knows he sees that oh this babe this guy ah just like they like to walk or they like to stay in the office past like closing time or whatever so because of that he's now he's now like telling you oh you know since you are here stay and finish this thing or since you're here please i have something to go home to finish up this thing for me he's disrespecting your boundaries that you yourself were disrespecting in the first place i don't know if that makes sense but like simply breaking your own boundaries is doing a disservice to yourself when you're like committed when you've said that you're committed to like finishing that thing and leaving at a particular time i feel like we also have to consider what else you're deprioritizing what what other commitments you're deprioritizing or who is missing out on spending time with you just for the sake of another hour or two you know on that work that you're doing you have one life to live so just try and prioritize your time if you do that and you respect your boundaries other people are going to respect your boundaries as well the third thing is put your mental health first learn to prioritize your mental health and kick other things to the curb because your mental health comes first your peace of mind comes first and all those things can come second like you can always come back to certain things whatever is meant for you will not pass you by so even if you you're not in the right frame of mind or you're not in the correct state of mental or your mental health is not great to take on that job opportunity or to do that thing that you want to do when i say you can always come back to it even if it's something that has been missed there will be a better one if something is meant for you you cannot miss it if something is meant for you it cannot pass you by do you get what i'm trying to say so it's like always prioritize your mental health the fourth thing is love yourself this is probably the most important one what did i say love yourself be kind to yourself do the things you enjoy pamper yourself take yourself out spend time with yourself what's wrong with you like what is wrong with you? you want to spend time with other people you can't, you can't even spend time with yourself you can't even stand yourself like yeah like just love yourself because if you don't love you then who gonna love you period like it's your time to be selfish in your 20s be selfish as hell because you're not getting back these times so be fucking selfish sorry for swearing be selfish the final thing which is like the fifth thing is that it's okay to have a normal job not everybody gets their dream job straight after uni so it's okay to have a normal job like it's normal to have a normal job straight after uni not everybody is like living their best life and you know having the job like there are people like that but also don't feel sad and don't beat yourself up too much for not being where you want to be like you literally just finished uni so it's okay to still be figuring stuff out it's okay to st it's okay to still be working towards your dreams if you don't have that straight away and just working a normal job it's fine um i finished my master's last year i finished in like i finished in september but i graduated in december and that time from september up until like grad the day that i graduated like i submitted my dissertation in september so after that i literally like i was happy i was done but at the same time there was this void like i don't even know how to explain 
I was just so like I just felt very unhappy and it felt weird to me because I was just like why am I so unhappy like I'm done with uni like I should be you know overjoyed and stuff like that but I wasn't like I feel like not a lot of people speak about but post uni sadness you don't have it all figured out you're thinking about oh my god like everything's falling apart i don't know what's going on what's next you get what i'm trying to say thinking about your future being so worried about what the future holds for you and these were all things that i experienced and the thing is like i'm still not moved past that i'm just learning to like just i think i spoke a bit about it in one of my vlogs but i didn't go into that much detail i feel like for me i'm just learning to like take each day as it comes i was putting so much pressure on myself to have it all figured out meanwhile like i don't have to have it all figured out like my 20s are the times where i should be figuring shit out i should be figuring out what i want what i want to do with my life and just work with the things i can control and leave every other thing that's out of my control to god what's the point of worrying about tomorrow when tomorrow hasn't even come yet do you get what i'm trying to say you're just depriving yourself of enjoying today like you're depriving yourself of enjoying this moment your present which shouldn't be like that do you get what i'm trying to say and there's so many other things to be grateful for so many other things so so many other things we don't have to all have it together all the damn time legit let's just you know this is our 20s and we literally only have one life to live let's try and prioritize ourselves and just do what do what makes us happy not steal our own joy or deprive ourselves deprive ourselves of happiness on the name of worrying so much or caring so much about what other people have to say or how other people view us do you get what i'm trying to say i think that's about it like i feel like i hope that i've made sense i hope i've not confused i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a fat ass like if you love this video you guys if you like like it's been a while since i did my outro but like now i'm here to do my outro and i'm here to ask you to subscribe to my channel because like why why are you busy watching my video and you're not subscribing like is it fair is it fair is it fair you're watching but you're not subscribing thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video